Bill, it is exactly one month since the blowout at ITO's OML 29. Now, efforts by the company to kill the wellhead and contain the oil pollution in Santa Barbara River, well, they have failed. Cutting short his annual leave, Governor Duye Deary has returned to the country and will be visiting the site of the spill, a place for the people, a place where the people called the Wuri Kumakiri in Basambiri Nembe Council area of Bielsa State. Now we're going to cross over live to the oil spill, where our correspondent Ovieteme George joins us now. Ovieteme, good afternoon. Please, can you give us the update on what is going on uh, at the moment? Good afternoon, Hawa. Um, right now, His Excellency, the Governor of Bielsa State, Senator Doye Diri, has just returned from the Warikumakiri. That's the area where the wellhead is being rock crude in gaseous form into the Santa Barbara River. And right now, he's standing right before us to tell us his experience. Your Excellency, sir, it was not rosy out there and the air was not friendly, but you had to cut short your leave to come and hear the cries of your people. What is your experience, sir? For me, uh, what I saw there was alarming. What I saw there, I've never seen in, in all my life. And, uh, our people are endangered. <gasps> Lives, and the livelihood of Bielsa people, and the immediate Thank community you. there, the Nimbe local government area, is endangered. I had to cut short my leave when I was told that the process was still continuing after some couple of days, running into weeks, and now running into about a month. And I decided today to even shelve the State Executive Council meeting first, and as a first thing to go and see things for myself. I've never seen that magnitude of oil spill directly from the well. I empathize with my brothers, with my sisters of Nembe local government area. I've already directed the immediate action of the State Emergency Management Committee. And I appeal to the federal NEMA to equally do the same. In situations that are less than this, NEMA has immediately reacted. The people there are short of dying. The people have no food. The people have no means of livelihood. We need to give some immediate succor to living there. And in the process, I was even told that some fishermen were even there when this happened, bet not for the immediate intervention of some security personnel who rescued them from that place. I'm saddened today. It's not a good day for me. It's indeed not a good day for the people of Bielsa State. And as a state, we will go back, we will meet, we'll take decisions, and the country and the world will hear from us. Meanwhile, I'd like to appeal to our people, the immediate occupants of that environment, the people of Nimbe local government area, to continue to abide by the laws of this country, to continue to keep the peace as they have kept over this period. And I believe that justice will be served. I believe that as a government, we will stand shoulder to shoulder with our people. And oil should be a source of happiness, not a source of gloom, not a source of death, as it immediately now portends. Let the oil producing lands and communities also be happy. The same way Nigeria is happy by producing oil. Oil should not be a source of death. It should not be a source of unlivelihood for our people. 
Kasi, as you coast home with this, um, what is your message right now concerning relief? You spoke to the people out there in the fishing settlements. They saw empty all they have, but then the larger society, the larger Nimbi, they are all your people. It's not, I have said it again and again. It is not all about only those who are occupying the immediate community. It's about Bielsa State. And indeed, by extension, the Niger Delta region that is producing the goo, the golden egg for this country. And just like I've said, we will continue to prevail on our people to keep the peace. We will continue to prevail on our people to be law abiding. We are citizens of Nigeria and we will keep the laws of Nigeria. But again, we have our rights as individuals. We have our rights as a local government. We have our rights as a state. And we are going to activate those rights. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, we just heard from His Excellency, the Governor of Bielsa State, Senator Doye Diri. And Hawa and Aaron, I would like to tell you this, that it is not really a pleasant experience, but we saw the well. This is a subject of concern over the days. This is a subject of concern that it is still spewing raw crude in gaseous form into the Santa Barbara River. We're talking about an oil well that is raging. And so the oil spill and pollution is spreading from the Warukumakiri, that is the name, Warukumakiri, all the way to the neighboring fishing settlements and communities. And that is it. Hawa and Aaron, you take it from here. I want to say many thanks to you, Ovieta, Ms. George. Our ice correspondent for bringing us the latest in BIOS State.